Hello all. Hi everybody. Today we are going to be sewing the A-line dress with sweetheart neckline. I'm going to take you step by step on how to sew it. I do the cutting yesterday so today I'm going to be sewing it together and I'm going to show you how I sew it. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hello. Okay. Um, we are going to start by adding the satin lining to every piece of the dress just like what I have done here all you need to do is to take the satin lining and you add it to every piece of the dress this is the back section of the dress this is the back section of the dress you take the satin add it to each side of the back section of the dress and then you do the same with the front as well. You take the satin lining and you add it to every section of the front, every section of the piece that you are going to be. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. I'm sewing in my kitchen. Today I'm not in my studio. So you had the lining to every section of the front where the front panel the satin lining first after you had the satin lining then we are going to add the poly cutting we are going to use the poly cutting lining to turn the neck so i start with the back one so you see what i'm doing Take the one piece of the back. I'm working with a fabric that got beads and stones. So you take a piece of the back. This is the right side of it. This is the next section of the back. Take a piece of it. You take a piece of the back polycotton lining. right side to right side you sew it only on the neck section only on the neck section same to the other back because we are going to use it to turn it to turn the neck right side to right side And then you can nush it. And then we are going to do on the station. And the stitching is where you sew the the part you've sewn. You sew it flat, flat stitch it down, flat stitch it down to the lining, like so. Flat stitch it down. This is the part we just sew. So you flat stitch it down to the lining. That's under stitching. That makes the lining totally flat inside the cloth you're sewing. 
necessary dress or a blouse, whatever it is you are doing, that you are doing on the station. Do the same to the other back. Okay, so that's what the understitching looks like. I've turned the fabric, you know, it was like this before, so I've turned it to the back. So now this is the front of the fabric, one piece of the back. If you have an iron with you, you iron it out. Very important if you have an iron, iron it out. Now I will just take the piece of the back and top stitch it just to keep the poly cutting lining in place do the same to the other side of the back the back is in two sections, remember? It looks like this in the front section, in the back, inside, the wrong side of the clothes. Okay, we'll do the same to the front as well. The front is a sweetheart neckline. It's a sweetheart neckline. It's not a very deep sweetheart neckline. So we are going to join this polycotton to turn it. But before I do that, I've already ironed on a fabric hair stay. In the middle of the sweetheart neckline, we are the V shape meat pin it. So it doesn't move when you are sewing it. So half an inches. As you are sewing, when you are getting to the V shape part, you do a curve. Deep, like you want to do a V shape. I'll use the shop to, to draw it so you see it. So, you want to sew like that. You put your needle there, don't move your needle up. I'll sew it so you see what I do. When you get here, you remove your pin, make sure your needle is down, and then you turn the fabric. Make sure your needle is done. Turn the fabric. And so. Okay. After that, you notch this point. If not, it's not going to lay flat. So you have to notch this point, the V, the part that's like a V. Notch it.
make sure you don't cut through the thread that you've sewn Also do on the stitch if you want to do on the stitch if you want to if you don't want to you can just take it to the iron and press it out Okay, that's the sweetheart neckline. See, now it looks more like a sweetheart neckline. So, we are going to take this piece because this tie got the transparent of the fabric of the lace on top. So, I'm going to take this lace. I'm going to take this lace. And I'm going to sew it to the front section, pin it round. Pin it round all the way round. Pin it all the way round, then you sew it. But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to cut another of this and use it to face the neck round. And then I'll come back and show you and continue, we'll continue from there. 